Hi, this is John from PortableFreewareGames.com and I'm not here to show you a game, I'm here to show you something a wee bit different. Uh, what I'm going to show you is a .keystore file creating application for APK files, for Android files. Now if you don't know what any of that means, then there's no point you watching the rest of this video. Uh, if you do know what it means and you are interested, if you have tried to publish or create your own APK files, then follow this, this, this video. So what you want to do is you click on your browser. You want to go to portablefreewaregames.com and you click on the software option and then scroll down that page till you get to the fifth option. This is it here, APK Signer. I want you to click on that wee image and that'll take to a download page where you've got a, a picture for the application, a very brief description of the application and a download button for the application. The, the, the file itself is, a, is less than one megabyte, so as soon as you click that download button, you're going to download it. I'll just click on that. You see, I'll save that file. So actually download it. I also recommend uh, that you make sure you've got the latest Java SDK uh, kit installed on your computer. I've put a link in here to the download page for Java. So you click on that download link, or that page link, or that internet link. I'll take you to the download page where you can pick out uh, what, what version of Java you need for what uh, for the operating system you have, Windows or, or Mac or Linux or whatever. Uh, you definitely need that, and preferably the latest edition. So anyway, okay. Before we get started with the application, I think we should really talk a wee minute about what it actually does. Uh, if you've tried to publish your own APK files. Uh, you, you'll realise that you don't just need to, uh, to generate a file, you need to generate a signing certificate, uh, a .keystore file, uh, and it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, usually people will, on, the internet, on YouTube will tell you to go into command prompt uh, and type in a bunch of stuff, but I find that a bit uh, annoying to tell you the truth. So I found an easier and a much faster way of doing it. Uh, and before we go any further, I'll, I'll show you one example of, of what I'm talking about and why you need this kind of file. Uh, there's a website that's it's probably best free uh, application packaging site that I know about, about. Uh, it's phonegap.com powered by Adobe and if you scroll down the page about halfway down this is here package mobile apps in the cloud uh, find out more this is an application I've been working on called PISA uh, basically you upload your, your source files, your HTML files and uh, the phone gap will publish them for you, well they'll, they'll package them for you uh, but like I said before there's the, there's the initial application packaging uh, which they'll do and you also need a key, a key store file uh, to make it complete, to make it publishable and they'll also do that as well but they won't make the key store file for you you have to make it yourself and that's where this application comes in so let's take a look at this application this is it here, apksigner.rar. This is what you'll download from our website. Uh, we're going to open that up. And you'll have a folder, APK Signer. Uh, it's got a shortcut to my, my website. And it's got the, the application. It's not an EXE application. It's not a Windows application. Uh, it's, a, it's a JAR application. It's Java. And you have to make sure you've got the latest version of Java installed. Java SDK, uh, the Software Development Kit. So anyway, let's get started. So let's get started with this application. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to work our way from the top down to the bottom. Uh, and these two buttons here, save as and generate key file, we'll use them at the very last. Uh, that's the very last thing we're going to do. So starting up here for Windows users, JDK path. Uh, it wants you to tell you, tell it where, you, where your Java is installed, your Java development kit. Mine is in program files. Java and it's JDK we're looking for Java uh, development kit not JRE that's Java runtime environment uh, that's related to what we're looking for but it's not what we're looking for this is it here what we're looking for JDK 8.060 we'll open that up and then bin you want to choose the bin folder and click open okay now we're going to start off just here password Choose a password for your for your, your application you're going to build. And 
tab takes you over to confirm so it's the same password again tab again alias if you want another alias for this uh, application for some, for whatever reason uh, I'll just choose PISA 2 because PISA is the application I've been working on last, last wee while uh, so PISA 2 would obviously be the successor to that uh, password confirm tab again that takes you to validity and it says in brackets in years 25 is recommended so it's already set to 25 so I'll just leave it at 25 now first and last name I'll just choose YouTube demo tab over uh, I'll just have the put the website as my organisation my organisational unit actually And tab that'll take me to organization it's the same again I'll put in the website you can put in whatever you want here if you've got a website or a blog or whatever city or locality and yeah, the nearest city to where I am is Edinburgh tab takes you to state or province nice Lothian and country code uh, for me it'll be UK and depending on where you are America, Canada, Australia, whatever uh, I'll have a two code, a two digit country code uh, you just fill it in there, it's straightforward enough so that's just filled in all the information we have to fill in and uh, we now just have to, to save the file so click save as and you have to choose a location where you want to put it uh, I'll put mine desktop downloads and uh, I'll give it a file name just call it PISA key save and then click generate key file to make the file key file generated successfully ok so let's have a wee quick look at this looking for downloads and it's there PISA key dot key store uh, and that's what you have to that's, that's the, the, the file that you need to upload along with your main application uh, to a site like phonegap.com and that'll make your, your, your application publishable and now that you've got a signature for it and that's about it really uh, it's fairly straightforward uh, I, don't think, I don't think anybody that's clever enough to, to make their own applications is going to really struggle with this application it's, it's fairly straightforward so I hope you download this application I hope you have a lot of fun publishing apps with this application and I hope you subscribe thanks for watching